Right now at 11, we have new information in an abuse investigation in Adrian, Michigan. Parents there are now reacting to an apology video from ProMedica after their son's abuse was caught on camera. NBC 24's Jay Hanna spoke with them today in Detroit. Jay, they tell you the hospital's not really communicating with them. Ryan, the parents spoke today with their lawyers. They say they simply want to be kept updated on the case, and they were never contacted first before the apology was made. We feel it is important for us to acknowledge that we failed these children and their families. Just three days after ProMedica released an apology. We're very out of the loop. We feel very out of the loop. Megan and Brandon Van Etten still have a lot of questions. We don't know what's going on. We don't have the answers we need. The Van Ettens were the first family to see footage of their eight-year-old son, Alden, being abused. It happened three weeks ago at the Bixby Hospital Center for Autism. He's the perfect victim. He doesn't talk, so, and he doesn't, he doesn't express um, pain like we do. A behavior technician smacked Alden across the face and it was all caught on camera. According to ProMedica, four children were abused and all were on video. Three employees were fired for it. We terminated all three employees who were involved. On Thursday, Megan and Brandon wanted to respond to ProMedica's apology. The hospital accepts full responsibility for what it calls overly assertive techniques. It also claims to have offered the family's help finding a new treatment center, and the Van Ettens say that's not true. That was the first we had heard from them. So to hear um, their statements on, on the resources or accommodations they've offered to us was just really hard. Adrian, police are still investigating the abuse. The Van Ettens just want more transparency. And all they're looking for is just answers. They have questions and no one's answering their questions. The Center for Autism is closed until further notice. Adrian police expect the investigation to be done in the next couple weeks. And as for the parents involved, they are considering a lawsuit. Live in the newsroom, Jay Hanna, NBC 24 News.